We all know that a gift deed is a document that allows the owner of any immovable property to voluntarily give away the same to any person. It may be family members or an outsider or a trust. Today we will be discussing everything about gift deed. This is Lion Devashish Mitra and you are watching Lion's Legal Talk. The first question will always arise in mind of every single individual is that who can make a gift deed? To document a gift deed, the donor should be capable of sound mind, should not be a minor and he should be the owner of the property which he wants to gift. However, although to give any property as a gift, a person has to be 18 years plus, but he can gift the property to anybody, even to a minor. There is no age bar so far gifting is concerned, but the person who is gifting has to be of 18 years plus. Now, second question may arise in many of the mind of many a person is that, can one gift unregistered property like Pagdi property? No. The ownership transfer under gift deed can only take place for a property which is registered. A Pagdi property is not a registered property, so it cannot be given. Now, again the question may arise, then can a person gift his lease right over a leasehold property? Yes. Since a lease agreement is a registered one, it can be done. Although the leasehold property remains and always remains the property of the lessor, either that is the owner of the property, the leasehold right, however, can be gifted by the lessee with the written permission of the lessor who is the owner of the property. Now, again, question may arise that can a person gift his ancestral property? Now, the an ancestral property cannot be gifted because every legal heir uh, is entitled to the said property. So, uh, even if the person wants, he cannot uh, give his sh undivided share of the ancestral property. Now, what are the requirements while drafting a gift deed? First of all, since gifting is a voluntary action, the gift deed should mention the following. Please remember all these points and while you are making a gift deed, this point should be kept in the mind. Number one, the gift deed has to be made voluntarily. Number two, there has to be no coercion and the gift has to be made by the donor out of his own choice. See, the donor should be the owner of the property and fourth, that he should not be bankrupt. These are the four important points. Apart from that, the most important point which has to be there in a gift deed that there has to be a specific environment at least once that gift this the gift is been made without any consideration now what is the next step is acceptance of the gift the acceptance of the donor is recorded in the gift deed by the donor the donor has to put a signature in the gift deed and accept the gift deed so now the main question comes that do I have to pay stamp duty on gift deed? And if yes, what is the quantum? Now stamp duty on gift deed again changes from different states to state. In Maharashtra, only a token amount of rupees 200 is required to be paid as stamp duty. If a residential and agriculture property has been gifted to his near, near, near and dear like uh, husband giving to wife, mother, son and daughter, then it is only 200 rupees you have to give. Again in West Bengal for making a gift deed to family members, the amount is 0.5% of the market value. Uh, there is no applicability of stamp duty, so far Punjab is concerned. So it changed. So from different state, the amount changes. However, if the gift deed is made to anybody which, who is not a blood relation, then the stamp duty is equal to what you pay for a sale deed. So these are the points for making a gift deed. I think uh, this video has come to help and if you want to know anything about any other branch of law, please write it in your, the comment box so that we can make videos on that topic. Thank you and keep to watching Lines Legal Talk.
प्लीज लाइक अ वीडियो शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक